One of the amazing things about Janicek is most of his masterpieces uh, were later in his life. Mm. And I think it was almost as if he was waiting for the 20th century to happen, for him to be able to really express the emotions and uh, the musical language that, that those emotions needed. Mm. And uh, he wasn't very successful in the 19th century. And it's amazing when you think he was born before La Traviata. He died after Wozzeck. You get a feeling of, of what he must have experienced. And I think he kind of rode that wave yeah. of direct communication with an audience. Janacek is the greatest gift to an opera director, probably in the history of opera. Um, he's, he's right up there with Monteverdi, with Handel, with Mozart, with Verdi. Um, he is a dream of a theater composer. Uh, his, his works cut to the heart of the situation. The music is as beautiful as, as Puccini's music, but as tough and as intense as Beethoven's music. It's, it's an amazing combination of heart and rage at the human condition and compassion for people. Uh, the characters he creates are incredibly complicated. Uh, he came along at a you know, the early, uh, he's a very, very much a product of the early 20th century. He brings a little of the romantic past of music and, 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 and romantic stories with him, but he's very much a creature of the sort of ex early Freudian expressionistic era, and he delves very deeply into the psychology of people, especially his women characters, who he has an, an incredible affinity with. You feel that the subject matter of Katya came at, to Janice just at the right time when his emotion, when his harmonic language was also just trying to explode and maybe had he been younger and therefore lived longer his harmonies would have broken as freely as Katya does eventually. I love how unindulgent it is and yet it's totally passionate and to be, to be able to be totally passionate without being indulgent is sort of ideal for life really.